Welcome to today's demonstration on Microsoft Dynamics AX for Retail and its integration. My name is Saha Sakep and I'm the Product Technology Specialist here at Hands-On Systems. Just to give you a brief overview as to what we'll be covering off in today's brief demonstration, I'll be showing you an overview of Microsoft Dynamics AX for Retail at a high level. I then will be opening up the Retail Point of Sale application, performing a transaction and then showing you how the fully integrated solution works. At a high level, we can see that the Dynamics AX for Retail solution is comprised of two main elements. On the left-hand side, you can see our Microsoft Dynamics AX application. On the right-hand side, you can see our point of sale terminals, our store databases. A service in between these two called the transaction service here on the left-hand side allows these two to operate efficiently and seamlessly. We will see exactly how that's achieved when I go into the demonstration. I have opened up a retail point of sale application. Within this particular application, you can see I've got a series of uh, buttons that allow me to perform certain tasks. I've brought up a customer, so you can see the customer's details populated on the top left hand side of the screen. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to create a customer order within this application. To do that, I go into and find my product. So I can easily scan my product or I can use these buttons, or these grids, that will enable me to go through and find my product. So for example, if I'm after a sheet, and say for example the customer wishes to purchase this particular sheet that I don't have in stock at the moment, I simply select the button that's populated the item's details. Because this customer is on a loyalty program, they automatically receive 10% off. I then go back into my home um, bar, go into my tasks, go to my customer orders and I click on my create customer order button which brings me up with this screen here allowing me to populate the order information. So I can put in comments here for example if this item was being um, delivered to a customer's home address I can put in deliver instructions so for example prefer to be delivered by 12 p.m. If the customer was part of a loyalty card, or sorry, a loyalty system at this particular point in time, I can scan in their loyalty card and it will actually populate their loyalty number. Coming through to shipping and delivery, I have the option to either ship this directly to their home address or have the customer pick it up in store. So in this particular case, I will choose pickup. I will choose the requested delivery date and search for my store. In this particular case, my store is Chadston. Once I've done all of that, I simply click on save which brings um, the items back into um, the screen you're seeing here. The customer then wishes to pay for the goods, so they will be paying me in cash. I can enter the amount that was tendered, and the system has the ability to give me a screen notifying me of how much change to give back to them. I click on OK, and as soon as I click on OK, the system comes up with a message saying the order has been created. By clicking on OK and acknowledging that and going into AX as an application, going into the Sales and Marketing tab, we have the ability to go in and open up a list of all of our sales orders. And from within that system, you can see that the point of sale application has automatically created my order for this particular customer and for the item. I've successfully shown you how easy and simple it is to use the Retail Point of Sale application at a very high level and how the integration works. Thank you very much for your time.